Well, hey everybody, welcome. I have not posted on this channel in a coon's age, <laughs> as we used to say. So why have I not posted on this channel? Well, obviously I, I have had another channel that I have been semi-successful with for the past year and some change. Now, it's, it, it's kind of had some ups and downs and I just uh, really wanted to post this video on this channel uh, for any of those who, you know, one or two who may actually watch this. Uh, just kind of want to explain why it's so hard to really be successful on YouTube. So you have all of these people on YouTube who are, are, are just, they're gurus and they have like hundreds of thousands of views and they, they give you like all of these lessons on how to be successful. And the thing is, like if you go back and you look at their videos, uh, all of their, honestly, a lot of the things that they talk about, that the things that you need to do, all that stuff changes over time. I mean, you know, some things, remain like you probably want a good thumbnail and and you want a good catchy title i mean stuff like that is always going to be kind of the norm right when when you go to the movies you want to see a good movie poster hey that looks interesting certainly the title has to be catchy as well so that's going to entice you to want to check out the trailer stuff like that never changes but a lot of other things change as well it seems like in in today's YouTube and, and some of the other social media that SEO is kind of starting to become a thing of the past and I could be wrong on that. It does seem like that. It, it's even YouTube right now says that, you know, tags and things like that will will give you a minimum effect on how searchable your videos are. It really comes down to how catchy your title is, you know, clickbaity almost and your thumbnail. But, you know, the thing is, honestly, even sometimes the thumbnails I've noticed can be horrible, but yet you'll look on the the channel views and that that video will have gotten like millions of views and it's like how? Because it's like it's like the person the person's thumbnails are them sitting there talking. Of course, it may be a channel where it's a female and she's really pretty and all this stuff and she's probably wearing something that's kind of low cut and so of course you know those are always going to get lots of views anyway so you know talking about my channel uh, washington football maniacs channel it started off as the, the washington football the fanatics and i thought i was going to get a sponsorship uh with the uh, fanatics um sports apparel and you know, they were, I think, willing to give me a sponsorship, but my name was, my channel name was too close to their name, so I changed it, and then I still didn't get a sponsorship. Uh, I kind of wish I had changed it back, because I, uh, to be honest, I like Fanatics better than Maniacs, but, I mean, you know, Maniacs stuck. I haven't said all that, um, my channel, it's weird, because it's like, when I first started the channel, Things were easy. I, I just started talking about Washington Redskins because they were the Redskins at the time. And, you know, views coming in, it really didn't take long. Honestly, it really didn't take long at all. Started getting subscriptions, subscribers just coming in. And before you know it, I mean, it, it was like just a few months and I had hit that thousand subscribers and I had gotten monetized within six months. So that was great. And I'm, I'm telling you like the first couple of months I was getting like $300 a month. And I thought, man, this is going to be easy. Like I could possibly start to double my salary of my main job with YouTube. And then all of a sudden it's like, things kind of took a hit like I, I kind of backed off on it last summer and didn't have as much time uh, you know work schedules kind of change and of course you know you don't have football during the summer so there's not a lot to talk about during the summer uh, as much so your channel kind of takes a dip and then there were a couple of months where I didn't hardly even make like 20 bucks <laughs> and then it picked up again. I started it up hot and heavy again, but you know, then I, I switched jobs. So there was a lot of like trying to fit in. There was a lot going on in my life. So my channel really went up and down. And so anytime that I took a step back from the channel, then my views would drop and I would have to rebuild things. And so where I was easily getting 
four to sometimes seven or eight thousand views per video for the most part suddenly I was struggling to get 500 to a thousand views per video which you know some of you would say hey that's pretty good you're getting you know over a thousand views per video that that's great but then you know like this past summer you know my, my father passed away um, my wife had uh, sh surgery so I didn't have any time to do v the videos didn't feel like doing videos and so struggled again work schedules and stuff like that as well just didn't have time to do videos so a lot of that took another back seat then tried to come back uh, come the start of the season really really struggling just to get like 150 average views per video and really putting out about similar content so you know I couldn't figure out like why you know suddenly I'm struggling so I started upping the amount of videos right like okay you know I got to feed the algorithm so you know I'm putting out like videos every single day whereas before when I was first successful, I was only putting out like an average of two videos a day, a week. And, uh, but you know, I will say, um, I wasn't always like showing my face. I was, um, I was actually doing a little bit more video editing and this was more of kind of like what this video is now. They're more of a straight commentary, uh, because there's a lot of fan channels that are like that they just sit they talk about the team and then that's it and they're getting several thousand views and so I thought well I can easily do the same you know I, I have as much knowledge about football about the team so why can't I do the same and then you know suddenly all right I'm not getting nearly as many views and then my views have continued to sink and I've noticed too that my views even though that I've remained really active and I've not really have cut back on my videos at all. My videos continue to even, I've struggled to even get a hundred views. It's like my views have continued to get cut even more. And I've been introduced to what is called shadow banning. And what shadow banning is, is that someone at some point decides that they don't like you or like what you say. And so that they report you now, I, I didn't get any messages from YouTube at all about being reported, except that every now and then, if I decide to try to use any clips from the NFL, um, I'll get copyright dinged, which is normal. That happens. I did dispute one of my videos with that, and they were like, okay, yeah, I understand. You know, fair use and all that. They accepted it video got monetized and then but I, I noticed it seemed like after that it was like okay I'm still struggling to, to get views and then the next one I tried to do that with they were like no nope, you know we're still we, we're still staying firm you're not getting monetized on this and then after that it's like I've really struggled to get views on my videos so I don't know if it's someone from the NFL that has shadow banned me, if it's if it's other viewers who, because I've, I've noticed that um, there tends to be fans out there who have their favorites when it comes to YouTube channels, uh, especially the fan channels of football sports teams and things like that. Um, they have certain, I've had, what I call jerks to, to come on um, my comment sections and they'll be like, you need to just not put out videos and just watch these other two YouTube channels. Basically saying that, you know, I, I don't need to be having the right to do videos. I need to just let these guys make all the money, you know, and take all the accolades and, and have fun doing YouTube and, and, I was like, w what is up with that? That That's just, that that is kind of junk right there, right? You can be shadow banned from other organizations and they're not really gonna, YouTube's not really gonna come out and say, hey, 
They're not going to send you anything saying that you've been shadow banned. I think it's just going to happen. I think they're just going to automatically put a a tag or a flag or whatever on your channel and saying we're not going to push your videos. And I think that's what's happened to my channel. And it's sad because, you know, before my, my videos were getting pushed and I really didn't see why that uh, my channel was suddenly being targeted, but apparently it is. And I will say that the quality of my videos are not always on par, uh, but I at least try to put out uh, videos and the, uh, good content at least. At least the, the, the message of the content is, I think, on point. So just for any of you who happen to find this video and you're, you know, wondering, hey, do, you know, do people on YouTube get shadow banned? Absolutely. And they get shadow banned for no reason whatsoever. Um, I'll try to pop in a little bit more frequently on this channel. I mean, honestly, this channel is just kind of my playground, so I don't ever expect to get monetized on this channel. Uh, it would be great love to make a name just for myself but um you know uh, at the time of this recording i think i have like 94 followers <laughs> so um and this channel is really about nothing but nothing so uh, i haven't gotten a direction in, in this channel honestly but anyway um there you go so have at it um let me know in the comments what you think uh would like to know your thoughts on this as well but uh, does YouTube shadow ban and why is it so hard to make a living off of YouTube? Take care, everybody.